In this lesson, moving forward, I'm going to talk about and demonstrate what a local area network is all about. So first, the basic network configurations. There are of two types. The first one is called peer-to-peer -peer network, where a bunch of computers are simply connected to each other through cables, for instance, or wireless connectivity, but they can share resources among each other. In other words, there is no centralized repository or management. If one computer wants to send information to another computer, you could do so. But nothing gets stored in one central location. Hence, it's called peer-to-peer. -peer. The next is the server-based. Here, the architecture is a bit different. So now we have a bunch of computers, but all of these computers essentially communicate through a central repository or a hub or let's call it a server, a computer that serves the requests. So these bunch of computers simply tell the central server and then the server then distributes the requests accordingly, whether it's a print request, for example, or it's a login request, for instance, and so on. So the server now plays a centralized role, and that's called a server-based network. And the computers within a server-based networks are also sometimes called or referred to as clients. So you might have heard the term client-server computing, right? So that's what we mean by having a server-based network configuration, as opposed to a peer-to-peer -peer network. There is no centralized server. So within the peer-to-peer -peer network, the nodes provide and request services. The user in each node simply administers the resources. So since there is no centralized administration, right, you are responsible for your own computer. There's no extra investment. Just put together a bunch of computers and connect them together. Very easy to set up. Obviously weak in security. And there are additional load on each node or each computer. The server-based network, on the other hand, is basically designated computer to administer. The resources are centralized. Everything passes through the server. The server stores all the information, all the data. It just simply gets the request from a client computer or a computer, for example, and then forwards the request and complies. It supports larger networks. So from one building to another building, from one city to another city, one campus to another campus, for example, or from one country to another country has strong security because now you can secure your server. Obviously the cost is higher than a peer-to-peer -peer network. So a few benefits, advantages, and disadvantages of peer-to-peer -peer networks is that they're low cost, simple to configure, the user has full accessibility of the computer itself, the disadvantages are you may have duplication of resources. So the same file can be stored on my computer, the exact same file or the copy of that file can be stored on a different computer within a peer-to-peer -peer network. So difficult to uphold security policy and difficult to handle uneven loading. Now, there are some benefits also of having peer-to-peer -peer network. And one of the benefits is the fact that when you have 10 or less users, there are no specialized services required. All you require is just sharing resources, sharing printers, for example. And security is not an issue. Only limited growth in the foreseeable future. So those are the benefits of having a peer-to-peer -peer network. So if you're starting off, for instance, within the networking field, the first step, the best way is to create your own peer-to-peer -peer network. Just put together two devices, two computers, laptops, or your personal computer or the combination of the two and let's connect them together and you essentially have a peer-to-peer -peer network share resources so the local area network 
Now we understand the basic configurations, the peer-to-peer -peer and the server-based model. The local area network is a group of computers confined to a small geographic area, such as a single building, an office space, for example, on a certain floor of that building. You may have your own local area network. No outsiders are allowed, only people that you authorize or place on the network are able to share resources. The local area network is again a group of computers or devices that share a common communication medium such as cabled or wireless connections. So straightforward. Now we're talking about a local area network, a bunch of computers connected together but only those authorized individuals can share, collaborate on resources and projects. The structure of the local area network is basically a network which is designed to operate over a small physical area such as an office, factory, group of buildings. The LANs are easy to design and troubleshoot. You can exchange information, resources very easily within your local area network. And all the machines or the computers, laptop, devices are connected to a single cable. It is usually a privately owned network. As I mentioned earlier, let's say you're working for a company. The company office is just located in one building and they have, for instance, 30 employees. Perfect. They have a local area network. Now, this could be a server-based model or a peer-to-peer. -peer. Most likely, it's a server-based because all these resources have to be centralized and then shared among those 30 employees. So some additional classifications that you may hear the term such as local area network which is the LAN. You may also hear a WAN which is known as the wide area network. Now we're talking across buildings. Now we're talking across cities, right? Across multiple offices. That's a wide area network. You also have a MAN, Metropolitan Area Network. So you have offices in Boston, you have an office in New York, New Jersey, and so on. So we're talking about a larger network called the Metropolitan Area Network. And then also a CAN, which is a campus area network. Usually universities, educational institutions fall into this category. So a network can be Again, LAN, WAN, MAN, or a CAN. And there are others as well, but these are the, the basic ones that I just want you to understand and know about. So practice with these words, some definitions, the core concept, and let's move to the next lesson.